One of those who's been among the most ardent supporters of the U.S. president is the governor of Florida in this crisis, Ron DeSantis, who says the spike in new cases is in part due to testing. Uh, particularly with some of the younger folks. I mean, what we're seeing in Florida is really rapid transmission uh, in that 18 to 34 age group. Uh, and you're seeing a lot of cases come up. And granted, they weren't being tested at this, at the, at this level a couple months ago, but I also think they're testing positive at, at a higher and higher rate. So clearly, you know, you have a lot of spread there. Uh, so folks so there you, you hear it, Christopher. There is a nod to the fact he does recognize that COVID-19 is real. You saw the people on stage around him all wearing their masks. Uh, your publication, The Daily Beast, though, saying that uh, Ron DeSantis himself could be in a bit of trouble. His popularity has plummeted, says The Daily Beast. Yeah, well, it's a hot mess in Florida. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a state that's full of retirees, full of old people. So if you have a situation where lots of young people are going to the beach and spreading the virus around and they're asymptomatic, He's right. You know, the testing is showing these people are infected. The symptoms are not showing that they're infected. What does that mean? It means that they spread the disease even farther and faster than they would if they were actually sick. Uh, and who are they going to spread it to? A lot of them live with their parents. Some of them may live with their grandparents. The death toll from this is going to be very, very high, according to many analysts. And DeSantis knows that. If you have a state that depends on older voters, and he depended on older voters, not younger ones, to win his election. And those people start dying in very large numbers because of your incredibly stupid policies, then that's going to exact a political price. Vivian Walt, uh, while this is happening, it is already impacting uh, uh, election races in the United States. We saw there were primaries this past Tuesday in New York and Kentucky, most notably. And they're still counting ballots because, well, they have all these absentee ballots they didn't have before, uh, this number of them. And we're not going to have final results till next week. You know, the most um, worrying thing is not these primaries. It's the presidential election, where they will also have a lot of absentee ballots. And there's, it's highly likely that there will not be a winner called on the day of the election, as there always is, um, other than, you know, that famous year of Gore, of, uh, Gore versus Bush. But um, I think that there are a number of things happening. And as Chris says, your chances as a politician in the U.S. right now rise and fall with this virus. 